Alright, this is Faster Than Light. This is one of the best games released in 2012, and this is one that I want to do a Let's Play series for. It's one that I'm going to be failing at miserably because pretty much I've taken any experience I've had and shipped it off. I am going back to the basics, and I am only playing normal this time. The goal is to get through the game as normal, unlock everything I can, in normal difficulty, and as you'll see, if you're unfamiliar with Faster Than Light, that normal difficulty is not normal, not very friendly. If you do want to know more about this game, I will make another video just sort of outlining the basics for you, but for now, yeah, yeah, I just want to jump in. As you can see, I have nothing unlocked, and I'm only playing on normal difficulty. We'll be starting with the Crestal, which I will rename this scrap heat because chances are it's about what this guy is going to turn into but let's start out I got bars that's a weird name Elizabeth and Emily so we are going to put them in different systems and we're going to activate our stuff because who knows what's waiting in the jump and we'll see what we can do use the store at the beginning and the key here is just to try and make our way across the galaxy as best as possible. So, Rebel Scout, it's unmanned. I don't really need lasers for this guy, so the goal is just to deactivate his weapons and not waste any unnecessary ammunition. Even if it means I get shot in the face. Now, some of you may wonder why I'm going on normal instead of easy. There's a few reasons. First off, in normal, scrap does not fall from hat like manner from the heavens like it does on easy and you'll see if you decide to switch make the switch that you get a lot less resources to work with so you have to really stretch yourself as much as possible also later in the game you start to see a lot of sort of variety in the ship layouts at least compared to easy where it's pretty for lack of a better word easy to predict what you're going to be up against oh good slaver. That works pretty well because I can always use more people in my crew. So let's just start with this kind of setup, see if they don't die on my shields. Oh good, they just missed entirely. So. Oh boy. So right now just a matter of seeing if I can knock them out in time and then repair my ship a little bit. So it's pretty much just a waiting game now. Do I want to take one of their crew? Yes, please. Unfortunately, it's another human. Some people really like humans. I guess I can see the appeal because they have no weaknesses, but at the same time, they have no strengths. And if you know how to leverage your teammate strengths they can really make up for one another's deficiencies. Yeah, you're gonna not die. They're just all gonna heal back as soon as I actually click on that. Alright. So we're healing bars. It's not the name you expect to see someone get in the future, Elizabeth. Go here. Yvonne C. Well, oh, I'm getting some screwed up names today. Alright. So we're just going to keep on fighting around the galaxy. Eh, offer services. Doesn't matter, I don't have crew transport teleportation. Why would I? Four jumps into the first sector. And then you get an uh, automated scout for about right next to the solar flare. I'm even going to try and take this guy out as fast as possible. At least one missile should help. It's just a matter of, will things hit me? Is my ship going to be on fire in just a second? I think the answer to that riddle is yes. Where are our fires? Oh, shit. Let's open these doors, get you out of there. Yay, I got parts. Now I have to wait for our stuff to charge. I don't know, 
if we're going to get another flare or not. That's fantastic because we're getting a bunch of fire. You can go out anytime you like. Let's see, can I get anything for 35 scrap? Nope. And see another burst laser would be great, and if I were playing easy, I might have been able to get that. But I'm just going to work with what we have, which means fuel, 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 and fix as much as I can. Because I don't particularly like going on low, low, say, health. I don't like risking it any time that I have some spare scrap. I like to raise myself up. So as soon as this repairs in there, we're going to jump and see if we can get past this, maybe get something worthwhile. My goal before Sector 2 is really to, let's see here, oh great, we're being attacked by pirates. Why are you, are there anything other than pirates in space? So... Let's wait for everything to charge up. Missile hits. There we go. That went just according to plan. And it sounds like there's a fire in there, but I don't know if there's actually. So, oh, there's a fire in my ship. That's why I heard burning. Whew. Good thing there's already no oxygen in that room. It's life a little easier. And then, oh, that's nice. They actually didn't book at that time. I got. A little bit of extra scrap, which we are going to need to repair this in just a second. They really do not like my engines. And I guess the question is, should I go ahead and try and upgrade my ship? Or should I try and save it? I like to get the door system early, and I think I'll go ahead and do that, because that'll stop the spread of fires a little bit, and it'll stop borders, which, on normal, you can get people boarding your ship as early as the first sector, and it's unpleasant if you're unprepared. Alright, we gotta get there, and we should be able to stay in front, no problem. I'd love to get another set of shields, so I need to be picking off more guys like this. Strategy is going to remain mainly the same. Take out shields, take out weapons, and hope to God I don't get caught on fire, which is great because I need to manage my energy better. And almost something useful. I don't know if I'm going to be able to take them all out, but at least they're not hurting me right now. Uh, Seven missiles isn't bad. Uh, it's not a lot of scrap, though. I mean, I only have five missiles right now, so that's not great. I'm probably just screwed myself. We'll find out. Yeah, two missiles, 16 scrap, two fuel. That wasn't a great trade-off. I never said I was a master at this game. Alright, they are trying to escape, which means that changes our priorities just a little bit. I try to knock out their engines as quick as possible. I don't know how much damage they're going to be able to do to me. Well, probably a little bit. There we go. So it's just a matter of, there's a lot of sitting and waiting early in the game. But I do really like the Crestle's burst laser. It's one of my favorite weapons. And it's always great that you can get it so early. So, more scrap, please. That's okay. Alright. Let's try this.
I think I can do this. Oh, it may have been a mistake. We'll find out. Because I do not like things with drones early. They take out my one little shield. So that's going to be my next priority. Those anti-ship drones. It's going to be a painful in a hurry. There we go. My evade's down to zero. This can be a very unceremonious first let's play. My shields are down. My evades to nothing. And keep in mind, this is sector one on normal. So this is how we do this. My ship is falling apart. My crew is getting obliterated. Everything's on fire. My one saving grace is that they have not attacked my weapons. But they did attack my first day. That's kind of smart. So let's see if I can do this with my ship attacked. No, you're gonna die. So you see, my ship's only kind of falling apart. And all I got was 20 scrap, and those bastards jumped away before they could do anything. Alright, so let's see if I can use the breach here to vent the rest of my ship out. That'd be fantastic. Who's hurt? You're hurt. You're hurt, but you're in there. The bears, you're hurt. Alright, so we're just gonna sit here and do some quick repairs. Close those doors. Let's just close all of them. Oh, that's fantastic. Let's start by... You guys are just gonna repair the door control. So otherwise we just have a gateway to space. Alright, so one door control. That's right, I'm going to put you in a room with no air and see what happens. Come well, let's get you on the repair train, too. Right now I don't have any NG, so I don't really care too much about roving repairs. I have four systems. All good to go. Well, this has been doing a good job firing weapons, so that's nice. She's got some experience there. Kinda helps if I can actually heal my people before going back. Alright. So, Emily, you have not been doing a lot. Probably because you're too busy getting blown to sh shit. Alright, so I need to increase my survivability. Nothing does that early, so early in the game. Excuse me. Like shields. Let me see. This is the bed I've made for myself. Distress signal. Yay. I'm going to destroy the ship because I don't want to take more hull damage by the other outcome for that. I only have three missiles. I should have taken those seven from before. But maybe I can luck out and get some more here. On the bright side, it looks like people aren't really going to be hurting me as much. Because you're not going to break my two shields with that. Especially not with your weapons down. And they're down. That's not so bad. Three full, one missile. See, there we go. One missile in, one missile out. Store that I'm pretty sure I can't get nothing at. And look, I could have gotten some crew members. That would have been useful. But we'll just sit on our cash. Repair. Not much else I can do. Ah, for our first video, it did not do very well so far, but at least I'm through one. Explore the asteroid field for three fuel. That's a nice way to cap it. Uncharted Nebula or Rock Sector. These both kids suck. Let's go with the rock, why not? 
rock people, they are very friendly, but only to their own kind. Asteroid feel just what I wanted to see. Though the nice part about this is that I'm not going to need to use any missiles. I can just let the asteroids do the work for me. So that helps. As long as they don't bust their weapons and kind of destroy my system, which is probably what's about to happen. Now their shields are down, all I gotta do is burst them down. Great. Is there any time where your engine is not on fire? I'd love to live in that world. And they're gonna get asteroided to death. That's good. And I'm not gonna have anywhere where I can actually fly out of here. Because I need an engine. And that's gonna happen right now. Well, almost now. Do, do, do you get oxygen back in there? Thank you. Yeah, if you don't know, that little bar box around the room means you have air or you don't have air. You want air. Wow, you have very little engine level up. You've been doing better on the shields. Of course, it's mid to late game where the engine really takes over, but early on there's not a lot to dodge. So why am I not having engine power? Oh, probably because I don't have any power in my engine. There we go. Wait, wait, wait. Alright. A uh, store where I can't do stuff. We're just gonna skip it. We don't serve your kind here. There we go. That's. That's classic. Alright, so. Good. We get free stuff. Let's see if I can possibly make up for the crap I did in the first sector. Alright. Why fill your computer with lies? They're not holy words. I'll tell you what's holy. So I actually haven't gotten any useful weapons, really. I can probably make it through this sector with just this loadout. I can just work a missile at a time. Don't really need to use more than one during a fight, if that. And that's only to get their weapons deactivated fast. So not much more to it than that. Other than maybe actually blowing up the ship. But hey. Just gotta hurry up and wait. That's what this game's about. Alright, that's actually a pretty good haul. Let's see. If I don't get any good stores and I don't get any weapon drops, I'm probably just gonna try and up my engine a little bit in some subsystems. Rock transport. Oh boy. That's exciting. You're so clever. Same thing. Missile. See if I can take the weapons out. And then just blast, blast, blast. I could try and suffocate them, but by the time I'd be able to get them to repair, not really worth it. Just one more shot. Pretty slow going early, that's okay. I will take that over the alternative. So, two for one on the missiles, not bad. I don't really like having the pathfinding on. I tried to reset all of my settings, but for some reason, I kept the pathfinding on. I don't know why it did that. 
So this loadout's the same. It's kind of just the same fight every time right now. Said you do get more diversity in what you face later on. Easy, it gets very predictable at the end of what kind of stuff you're going to see. Well, that's exciting. Like there, that missile should have taken that out. Oh, there's a fire there, so that works. Oh, that's... I was trying to take out my shields, too. Once again, my hull is just down. I'm having trouble overcoming my mistake at the start of the game. Let's see if we can get some stuff repaired. Shield, shield guy. I think that's a guy. He's gonna need some stuff. We'll just take off the oxygen for a minute. Those are famous last words. We'll just turn off the air supply for a minute. I've embarrassingly killed, ruined more than a few good runs by forgetting to switch back to oxygen. Whether it's from my system getting ioned and not turning back on or what. See if I can get another easy rock ship. Oh, good. Uh, it's too late to scout the sector. No need to worry about delaying. Let's just fight them. I got the missiles. I got the stuff. And the nice thing is, they still don't have teleporters that early. So that helps a big one. Even though it's never pleasant when they fire a missile at my hull. But at least I knock that out first. Yeah, you can shoot your little laser, whatever. See, you get just 17 scrap for that. That'd be nice to get more. Okay, probably got time for two or three more jumps here. Would be great to find a store. Well, sorry, we're not going to talk to you. I hope you understand. No, not really. So let's see here. I got one, one, two jumps. Let's push it. Let's find out. Oh, damn it. Well, that was exciting. Now we get to see what part of my ship catches on fire this time. So, I'm going to take this guy out as fast as possible, even though I don't have a lot of missiles. I mean, at this rate, what do I really have to gain? I'm going to get hit at least once. been nice if that had been somewhere that I can actually put a fire out. Let's do it like that. Just drain air from my ship, please. And die. Thank you. Not bad haul. Great. No sensors. Maybe there's still a fire. We gotta get out of here regardless. I'm not gonna risk it. I don't know if I got out in time. Oh, good hole, smash a laser. It's not bad. Let's see how much my ship is trying to eat itself alive. So you're going to take some damage, again. We'll just go ahead and, as a precaution. In case I did get hit by that second flare. No, we're good. Alright. So bring you back to health. And 
since we didn't find another store that's worthwhile, and I could have made that end jump barely. Let's do some serious upgrading here. So we're going to do two there, and let's keep 93 in case something good comes up. Because it would be nice to be able to upgrade those weapons on the man. That whole laser will be pretty useful. Now let's do this now. Might as well spend the scrap while I have it. Zoltan or Pirate? Let's get Zoltan. Alright. Zoltan territory. Where are they? Uh, I don't know. I got nothing clever. Likely a tourist trap. Alright. Look, there's our promised store. And looky here. Crew teleporter would have been okay, but I don't really have a great crew to take advantage of it. Drone control. Good. Let's see here. Do I really need the whole laser at this point? It's a good weapon. It's a good kind of finisher weapon. <sighs> eh, but I wouldn't get as much use out of the teleporter, not without more crew. Let's just suck it up and repair. And now, a lot of people like the Crystal B. I've actually never unlocked that one. Oh, good, an NG Donut. So let's kill that. But I haven't unlocked the Crystal B, but I don't really feel like going down to 1 HP just yet. Not when I don't have enough scrap to repair everything. So they are loaded to the nines, and even better, they have a fun little defense drone. So I'm not sure how good of a job I'm going to do actually poking into this ship. We're just going to have to hope all three shots hit. And see, this is not the kind of loadout you'll see on easy. Not with the drone. Not with all this other stuff. Nope. Let's see, if they just want to keep using their beams, they are welcome to do that. I can be here all night. I just gotta get three hits in a row. Let's see. There's something to their shields. There we go. Wait, why is I waiting to do that? I still gonna get. Well, let's see what happens. You're gonna shoot that down so fast. Alright. Maybe that bought me some momentarily. No, it didn't do a lot of good. I can just take down their drone control. Eh, it's gonna take for if I don't get this stuff, it's gonna jump. There we go. That's all I needed. So you just gotta know what systems to target, and normal really tests that. Oh boy. There we go. Because I could have just wasted a few missiles with that defense drone floating there. There we go. Oh good, there's another fire. When is there not a fire in the engine room? All that for a little bit of stuff. <laughs> so we're at the next one. Yeah, I'm going to need some bigger guns. But at least I don't have a defense drone to deal with, so... We can just play this game. At least they're not going to kill me. Alright, 
so that's one system down, two systems down. I don't really want to waste my missiles. Oh my gosh, I actually dodged something. That's good. Die. Okay, I'm gonna have to take... No, I'm not. You can get me better. Yeah, see, there we go. Anti-ship drone. Those are good. Got more scrap out of that. Alright. So I'm gonna not play it safe and go for these distress beacons. Single life form. Hey, madman. I can need another crew member. Let's see if I'm gonna screw myself again or not. Oh, he improves immensely. He's coming to the crew. It's a slug. Oh, sluggy slug. That's good. I like slugs. Alright. Slugs are especially nice when you don't... well, not that it really matters for this fight, but... It's really nice when you can see what the other side has, even through a storm, or even through a nebula like this. Well, it'd be nice if I could actually hit something. So I'm almost out of missiles. Ugh. There we go. That's all I needed. Oh my god. I'm not dropping another missile on you. I can just be here all night. There we go. Just hurry up and wait. Alright, I know what I'm going to do after this fight. may seem a little counterintuitive, I'm going to go with a more offensive strategy. 26 scrap, I think that's enough. Ooh, ooh barely. Alright. And drop one there. And we're just going to pew pew the crap out of people. It's nice when you have a few multi-shot lasers to do this with. Alright, you detect through a locker intent you have discarded the great eye. Look into his depths or receive your just dessert. Pull the ship in closer. Oh good, I got scrap. That's helpful. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to put it to good use, but at least I get a little more time to explore. Nothing. Well, that's fantastic. Fuel supply, ammunition, and actually, not really that great on either. Secure the ammunition. Well, that's great. Alright. That's fun. At least they're in a similar predicament to me. Hopefully I don't need to use a missile. Okay, oxygen's at 80. 
their ships on fire. That's a good sign. That's nice, because with the slug crew member, I can see what's going on. And with the slug crew member, if I were to get the slug nebula, maybe I could get the slug ship. Yeah, yeah. Power your f faster than light for the lose drive. I don't have anywhere to go. This is surprisingly going well. And there we go. Fire spreads through the ship. You get missile and scrap and Nah, I'll probably should give my ship some air. There we go. Or if it suffocates. Probably in another ion storm. No. That's good. Alright, now we're gonna do this. I'll have to get another energy. Probably should have done that. So we're going to try and overwhelm their shields. An important way to do this is just to not sit here and auto-fire. I never use auto-fire. However, I do sometimes get my shields knocked down like that, so I'm probably about to get hit a little. Alright. So just fire them simultaneously. There we go. Shields down. And then I can shoot at my leisure. And I should probably take out their piloting first. Oh, that's fantastic. There we go. Got that down, and now I have a hole to patch up. Thanks, Sluggy. Drone parts that I can't use. Air leaving the system. Little crankies for everyone. And look, I got a, I got some advanced range for people now. Oh, finally you're making yourself useful in the engine room. That's good. Let me get all y'all healed up. Especially poor little Charlie the Slug. Charlie, the one with the semi normal name. Evan, you almost got your shields up. That's good. Elizabeth, on weapons. That's good. So let's see here. I need to get one more power so I can use that. Let's see first if I actually got a ship. No, no, no storm. That would be too much. So we'll do one power there. Alright. So we bought ourselves some time with that well placed nebula. That's good. <sighs> On the other hand, that's not good. Yay, border police. Oh! I didn't know they meant that term literally. This is why we get blast doors. And the best part about this kind of encounter is that they're going to try and blow up my stuff, too. And they already know they're suffocating, so we'll just... We'll just go ahead and air it all out. And I'll keep you in there for the time being. Because these guys have less health anyway. able to burst through their Zoltan shield the first time. So I'll save that volley for the next round. Oh, that's fantastic. Good, they're already almost suffocating. That's what you get. I really need to manage my micro better here. These guys could have been snuffed out by now. There we go. Shields are hurting. That's good. 
we'll go ahead and just give them a little bit of a pleasant surprise. Oh, A2, Brutus. And they're all dead. That's good. No, I just have no oxygen. So we're going to send both of you to repair this as fast as possible. I think I'm actually inclined to run away. Because I'm going to take a few more missiles to the face and I won't have a sh I won't have a ship to fight back to. In a few minutes. So let's see if my shields can keep up on these guys more missiles. So that's not pleasant. See, this has been a pretty good run, but just get undone by some nasty, nasty luck. Alright, Sluggy, you're gonna go over here. That didn't very well. See, they got three shields, and this is only a few sectors in. This is what I mean in terms of... Oh, my ship is actually about to explode. Well, this was a good run while it lasted. But I don't think we're going to be here much longer, considering I only have a 27% chance of dodging anything. Okay, get out of here alive. Alright, I'm here. Jump to the next sector. 14 scrap, anti-personnel. Well, if I can just get to a shop, I will... see if I can repair up everything first, because the next place that shoots misses at me is going to kill me. That's pretty much a foregone conclusion. So we are really on our last leg. Could have I managed this run better? Sure. But that's why it's fun, because you can't always make it and beat the game every time, because we're in Sector 3, and we're going to a pirate-controlled sector, which means everyone's going to want to hug me and say hello. Alright. Distress signal. Distress signal. Um, uh, bugger. I think we're going to die. I'm not going to risk that. And... I'm going to accept your bribe because my ship is about to explode. And you would kill me. No stores. Unbelievable. Not one. That's all I'm looking for right now. Yay! They tried to shut down engines. Ha! Ha ha! Ha! You're funny. Alright. So I have three power and nothing to do with it. Alright. We'll see what happens here. Let's go ahead and empty the air out of the room he's trying to go into and hope to god they don't hit me with a missile. I have a feeling though that this is it. So I'm really gonna have to go for their missile system first actually. Yep, we're gone. That was a good run. So that's it for the first run in this Let's Play. Needless to say, we did 
Sector 4, not awful. All kinds of new records because this was my first run. But could have I played it better? Yeah, made some mistakes early that I never really came up from. So now we have a scrap heap. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to a lot more of these. Hope you enjoyed it.